happy. Oh, go get out of the black. <sighs> if you can't take the heat, fire. You know, we could start with that. <laughs> you tried it. <laughs> I tripped and I stumbled. Watch my world crumble. If we wait any longer, these greens are gonna turn into browns. We eat as a family. And now he's dancing. Sometimes you eat dirt. You live and you learn. Thrown in with the lions, the tigers and titans. Afraid to get hurt, but now I'm making them purr. I got fire under my feet, and I'm I think it's clear he loves Take Note more than he loves his own family. He's moved on, and sadly, so should we. Our non-dancing son is right. Drea, pass the potato. Ah! <laughs> we eat as a family. Mm. Well, then one of you is going to have to go get him. What? I tried it. Mm -hmm. I have to change anyway. I didn't know we were having seven hour apocalypse, and I am undressed. Don't forget the helmet. <laughs> Pass the potatoes. No. Come on, Drea. No. And I've earned it. Every Tuesday will be worth it. Step by step ain't looking back. No regrets. Kelly, come on. Hate this dinner helmet. I could have ducked, but I didn't. Ugh, can't be dinner time. I just started singing. Wait. Whoa. Three hours ago? Hmm. When I watched the show, it's it's almost like the rest of you just ceased to exist. Huh, hadn't noticed. By the way, fresh sweater you got on. You got some pot roast? You know it. So boys, summer vacation is just around the corner. Have you given any thought as to what you want to do? Yes. Mm. Nothing. To the essence of vacation. I think it's time you boys come work for me. I'm 13. I'm 10. Together, that's 23. I'll get you some boots tomorrow. Reggie, the boys aren't going to work for you at your catering business. And I thought we could spend one last summer together as a family before I get tenure as a professor at the university. Mm. Professor Richards. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Till then, you all could come work for me. What size boots you wear, Drea? 15? I don't know, G. What size can't you sleep on? So, Calvin, are you practicing for the choir up there? Or are you just singing along to that TV show? Dad, Take Note is more than just a TV show. It's the ultimate reality competition for young voices to be uncovered and discovered. Isn't that the TV commercial? Hopefully the commercial. <laughs> mm. You didn't answer my question. I'm ready for choir, Dad. Mm -hmm. I promise. I I mean, I'll be ready. I think. You know, it might not hurt to sing things over one more time. Huh. That's your child. That's right. <laughs> this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Stop, stop, stop. I, I, I don't want to name names, Mabel. But, but the chorus is not Andante. It's Allegro. Well, why don't you show us how to do it then, Mr. Fancy Britches? All right, since you've asked. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Ooh, yeah. Show off. Uh-huh. Mabel, why do we always have to play this game? Just pick up the pace. Oh, look, y'all, our choir robes have finally arrived. Come on over, come on. Calvin! What's up, dude? Did you stub your toe on a bee again? No, I just found out. Stub my toe on a bee? I might be remembering two different things. Does it matter? Don't care. I have big, huge, gigantic, life-changing news. Take note, it's coming here. What? Yeah, they're holding auditions downtown. You have to do it. That's, that's like my dream. Duh. That's all I've ever wanted. Double duh. I can't believe it. Believe it. Yeah, I'm not going to try out. Later.
Uh, uh, Jackson, how do you stub your toe on a bee? It was two different things, Mabel. What are you doing? I'm hanging up my socks. On a coat rack? Why? Because they weren't going to hang themselves. Don't you want to try out for take note? Yes, but... But what? I can't. Why not? Look, Jackson, whenever I sing, I'm in a group. I've never sung by myself. Well, except to the TV, but that's different. No way. I can't do it. You're scared? That's it? That's enough. That's crazy. You'd be amazing. And this year, Allie Parks then is hosting the show. You love her. You can't prove that. <laughs> All right. Maybe you can. But seriously, Jackson, I'm done talking about this. Fine, I'll drop it. We have to make him audition. Jackson, if Calvin doesn't want to do this, then... But that's just it. He does want to do it. He's just scared. So let's help. All we have to do is knock him out with something heavy, dress him up in a killer outfit, then when he wakes up on stage... I've got a hand truck. Hmm? You know to roll Calvin up on stage after we knock him out. No one is knocking anyone out. Come on, Drea. But... No one is losing consciousness in this house. This is Calvin's decision to make. You know what? Your mama's right. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. I'm gonna go have a well-deserved bath. On. All right, baby, you go on. Mm. <laughs> your mother's wrong. Let's help your brother. Really? Yeah! He's a great singer, and he loves that show. And this is a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, and he shouldn't miss it. But what about Mom? She's a psychologist. She can read our minds. Not all the time. We need a plan. Okay, well, Calvin's scared because he's never sung by himself in front of anybody. So at this weekend's performance, while he's lost in his singing, I get the choir to back off, and he'll have the spotlight all to himself. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> and I'll make sure that underneath the robe, he's wearing something total rock star. Oh, wait a minute. If it's under the robe, how's anybody going to see it? Break away. Boom. <laughs> Why? No one will see it under my robe. Don't you know that to sing your best, you have to feel your best? That's why Dad and I picked out this suit for you. You got this suit for me? Mm -hmm. Thanks, bro. <laughs> oh, yes, indeed, I am good! I don't know if these are a little tight. If you relax a little, they'll relax a little. OK, see you out there. I'll just take these. Now go kill it, bro! These are killing me! Hey, y'all, gather around, oh. gather around. All right. Hey, baby. Hello, yellow. Oh, stop. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I've got some special choreography for the third selection today. Right. Finally, <laughs> I get a solo. Settle down, Mabel. What? Come on, here's the plan. We are so happy to be here today, raising money for such a worthy charity and to be able to share the magnificent voices of the Greater Atlanta Gospel Choir. <laughs> you ready? <laughs> This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine, shine, shine. Whoa, baby. I'm gonna let it shine. Oh, this little light of mine, I'm gonna let it shine. This little.
Not funny, Mabel. We were trying to help you face your fears. By pantsing me in front of everyone? Technically, I robed you. You pantsed yourself. That's because you gave me trousers that were made for a toddler. Dad picked them out. I could have sworn you wore an extra slim. Never let your father pick out your clothing. Size 15 boots. I'm walking home! Come it! Well, on the upside, nobody's unconscious. Not yet. Hey, Drea, the door's locked. Drea. Mom? Hey, baby. Mom! Drea, stop playing! Ah! Drea! I don't care if my socks are neat. Can I come in? I haven't left your room in three days, Cal. Get used to it. I'm staying in here until college. Maybe I promise this will all blow over. You know what stinks? Mm. Jackson was right. I mean, I would kill to be on take note, but that video of me, it's all over the internet. Mm. From now on, I'm going to be known as the underwear kid. I could look at this positively. You are very popular. I mean, look, you have over a million hits. A million? Yeah. Oh, it's so embarrassing. But, you know what I do with embarrassing things? Own them. Takes the power away from the haters. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, I bet Allie Parkinson wouldn't be embarrassed to sing in her underwear, right? Eh? Well, she certainly wasn't on her third tour or her fifth tour. And you're never gonna see her sixth. It's too bad I'm not Allie Parkson. No. Calvin Richards. <laughs> and I have been a big fan of yours since the first day I saw that beautiful face. Oh, you are smart. You're sensitive. You're caring. You're talented. You're kind. I'm scared. Hmm. We have to get to Allie Parkson. She's the only one who might be able to convince Calvin to audition. He idolizes her. Just so I'm clear, as long as you come up with the crazy schemes at school, why is this news to you? Let's go over the plan. Right, right, right. So I bribe the security guard with buffalo wings. I distract the crew with the grilled shrimp. Uh-huh. Then I jimmy the lock of her dressing room door with a rib bone. No, you won't. I'm gonna knock on the door and say that we have a delivery from Reggie's r and BBQ. All right, fine. We'll try it your way. Come on, on get out. Get out. Get out. Come on. And I'm keeping the rib. Ah, uh, Calvin talks about her all day long. He couldn't one time mention she's a vegan. Well, I don't know. Come on. Oh, get out. Leave the plants for me. Get out of my way. Ah, Drea, come on. I got it. Next time, I'm making the ski. Hey, son. Got a minute? Oh, man, are you watching that video? Did you guys really try to kidnap Allie Parkson? Kidnap's a strong word, son. What's important is barbecue dad and baby back mama is trending more than underwear kid. You're welcome. I appreciate the effort, but why does this matter so much to you? Because it matters to you. You've been singing since the day I met you. Everybody said that you were crying, but I said, no, not my son. He's singing. And I was right most of the time. The rest of the time, well, it was poop. Where, where are you going with this, Dad? I want my sons to live without regret and to follow their dreams. Come on. You're awesome. What do you know about regret? Hmm. I know a thing or two. Back in the day, I had a shot at being a professional singer, and I didn't go for it. Not everyone gets to realize their dreams, son, and that's okay. But the regret I'm talking about comes from not even trying. I know you're scared, son, but you gotta ask yourself the question. What's stronger, fear or love? Cause I've seen you sing and that look on your face, that's not fear. It's love. <laughs> Don't make me sing that song. Oh, dad. No, Ucha. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. Ucha. Things are gonna get easier. Ooh, child, things will get brighter. Are you feeling it? Yeah, I'm feeling it. Ooh, child, 
things are going to get easier. Ooh, child, things will get brighter. Yeah! Ah. And someday we'll get it together and we'll get it undone. Someday the world is much brighter. Oh, I am so auditioning. Yeah! <laughs> and someday we'll get it together and we'll get it undone. Someday when the world is much brighter. Look, guys, technology juice. We finally made it. Hey, it's the underwear kid. <laughs> you got this. Oh, come on. It's not fun. Okay, okay. That's right. Underwear kid is in the house, and he's about to bring it down. Mm -hmm. Two million hits and counting. <laughs> Milk? Laugh not. Keep walking. It seems a mess came ahead. You better believe I'm not finished yet. Risk it all. That was incredible. The level of talent here in Atlanta is off the charts. So, Rudy, what do you think of Avery Siddle? Avery Siddle, I'm taking note of you. You're in the mix. All right. So stick around, Avery, and you'll find out later if you've been selected to go to Hollywood. Oh, good for little Avery Siddle. Good for her. Look at all these other kids. He's like Charlie in the trauma factory in here. I think I just tripped over a broken dream. Watch yourself. Next up, Calvin Richards. You got this, honey. <laughs> Good luck, bro. No regrets. Oh, Go on, boy. Oh. Good luck. Thank you. Calvin's in the mix. What? What's going on here? I think Calvin's going to Hollywood. Room. Yep. Let me get the door. 
We made it! Whoa. Hollywood, we have arrived! Yes! yes! <laughs> I gotta go to the bathroom. Me too. Chris! I told you all to go before we left! <laughs> Take note, new series on Family.